I like how it looks. Look at it from the from the camera view. It looks nice, right? Give you guys a little glimpse of how it's gonna look, and I mean, looking super, super, super good. Okay, now that looks much better, guys. How's it going, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Stream Power Toys. In the last episode, as you guys saw, the engine started and it's running super good. I mean, maybe we still need to do a couple tweaks here and there, but up to now, everything is going super fine, super smooth. But the only thing is, we started to do our radiator mounting points, but we decided that we're gonna get rid of all of this and we're gonna go ahead and do it a different way because we want the front of the car to make like a tubular bumper that way we can take off the bumper and it will look like we still have a bumper so we're not gonna be using this mounting points anymore we're gonna mount it from here and then it's gonna come all the way through here and go around it so stay tuned you guys This looks way better than what we had. So right there, as you guys can see, this is gonna be just following the lines of the actual bumper. And then the bumper is gonna go just on top of it. And that piece is going to go one here in the bottom. And then we're gonna make another same piece that is gonna go on top. So yeah, I think this is gonna be much better than what we have done here. So yeah, let's go ahead and bend our other piece for the top. Alrighty, so the bend is already made, the three bends, we're gonna go ahead and place the one that we already had on top of it to make sure that our bends are where they need to go. Uh, yeah, because the one, this one went a little bit more, I mean, still, I think it's gonna work. Yeah, it should work, we should be fine. Yep, let's go ahead and bend the other one. As you can see one turn is facing one way and the other turn is facing the other way. Since we haven't used the tooth bender that much, we're not 100% able to make all the bends in one single pipe. So what we're gonna have to do is the same thing we did with the other one, that we cut the pipe and then we just uh, weld that in the middle. As you can see there, if the camera wants to focus. So yeah, we're gonna have to cut it and then weld it again and then eventually as much more time that we use the bender, we will get better at it, and then we will be able to do just one whole pipe with all the bends in it. Okay, now that looks much better, guys. It has just, it follows the line of the bumper. So then, from here, we'll be taking our top to the radiator, and then from there, our two tops, and it was going to look way 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 much better Alan is just finishing up welding the two tubes so we can put it back inside the bumper put the bumper with the frame into the car so then we can do our measurements from here to one of our mounting points right there so yeah let's see how it turns out let's see now if when we take the bumper off all the tubes stayed in place it's already tacked so yeah, 
as you can see there we have a tack there tack there and then we need to just make our plates here and go from here to our tube there our tubular bumper Ooh, nice 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 yeah this definitely looks way better than when we have done the first piece that we have made this is like a hundred percent better so yeah I mean we are running out of this one inch tube we need to go and buy more at the supply so we're gonna go ahead and continue as much as we can like I said we need to still cut a couple plates to put them here and then from here just do another tube going to here or maybe from here to down here to strengthen it up a little bit more and then it's just making our tops again here for the radiator and we should be good so yeah I mean it's looking so good already so the front tubular bumper is already almost a hundred percent mounted we have it mounted already to the plates and it's shown there we just need to secure this so what we're thinking is we're gonna go ahead and run a tube from here all the way to there that way we can just close it here and maybe just do something from tube to tube and we also bought the paint so we can paint the tubes and this is the color it's red just like the valve covers with a little bit of glare so yeah I think it's gonna come out nice now we are working on trying to I'm still trying to go from here to here with an AN line so I'm gonna try my hardest to not use a regular hose because I really 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 want to use an AN line from here to over there so that's what we're working on right now so yeah it's, it's getting close only thing we're missing is welding those four pipes and then making our tops for the inner cooler already you guys so we already welded on the other bond on top now this one was a little bit hotter hopefully we don't have any leaks and we also uh, welded on one top down there for the fans also we needed to weld this so they stayed uh, against the radiator now we're getting ready to remove the tubular bumper so we can go ahead and start painting it giving it a primer paint it and leave it here to dry for a whole day so then we can just bolt that back on put the radiator and start working on the inner cooler so we are in the process of attempting to make a teardrop for our oil pipe and hopefully this goes well it's our first time and we don't screw up a 90 we have it marked with tape and Alan is going to go ahead and cut it and see what happens hopefully it comes out good so, or yeah or we will need a new 90 this can go both ways nice first try looks good we just well, need to one. This looks weird. backwards I like I see you trying to give it some color to the tip of it and it seems like it's working it's working fine so Alan is already in the process of painting it I mean looks more like a swing than anything but is coming from the roof on the second floor and we have it there so it can be in the air so we can paint everything I mean it works so let's just finish painting the the tubular bumper
it's always the next day you guys and we painted it yesterday a little bit of the tubular frame Alan's gonna go ahead now and heat it again and then heat it with some clear already you guys we laid out the second coat of paint we haven't done the clear yet but I'm gonna give you guys a little glimpse of how it's gonna look and I mean it's looking super 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 good let me show you guys So as you guys saw there, it looks a little bit darker, but it's a little bit more lighter. The only thing is the lighting is not really good here, but it's looking super, super, super good. And the color is not the same as the valve cover color, but it's really, really, really close. So we're gonna let that sit there to dry for a couple minutes so we can apply the clear. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start working on our up pipe, which is not the up pipe, it's the down pipe, but and our up pipe that's going up through the hood we're gonna start working on cutting the hood and start welding on our teardrops. So we already marked where we want to cut and then weld here from here up our teardrop. So we're gonna go ahead and remove it, cut it so we can lower the hood, mark what we need to open the hole and the hood and go from there guys. Let's fit it now to see how it came out. a test fit we still need to cut this to bring it down but as we suspected we're gonna have to as you can see there we're gonna have to widen that a little bit towards this side so it can line up with the bottom pipe but yeah I think it's gonna come out great <laughs> alrighty I'm liking the fitment though so yeah we just need to chop this off now and make our other uh, teardrop well actually it's already made Alan made it the other day, so we need to cut and wet the well the, the teardrop. So it's gonna look, yep, something like that. Maybe a little bit higher, so it matches. Good thing I don't have to cut the the, the hood. hood? Well, nope. I like how it looks. Look at it from the from the camera view. It Ooh. looks nice, right? So yeah, this one is just stuck where they're there, so we're gonna go ahead on the other side and weld it completely with a thick water so then we can just do our wastegate pipe so yeah let's get to welding so the turbo up pipe is ready done we're gonna move now to our wastegate pipe I need to weld all of this, it's just stuck in place and weld this one and this should be, it should be done for the exhaust pipe. A pipe is already done, all dried up. Let's go ahead and test fit it to see how it looks. Oh yeah, it looks, looks nice. Couple fireballs right there. Alrighty guys, it's looking super good. There you have it, we have our turbo exit and we have our Westgate exit now we're gonna go ahead and wrap them with some uh, heat chill just in case now we have it right here so we're gonna grab it on this just to keep some of that heat out of the things that are close to it like the brake fluid reservoir wait 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 wait, wait. bro let me let me show show the quality of the work come on and everything is like really tight there Yep, it came out nice. I mean, we struggled a little bit with the clamps, but yep. it came out super good. Can I see the other one? Yeah. Let's put them on and see how they look. 
Oh, oh baby. Ah, uh, wait. Wait, wait, I need to twist it a little bit. Let me see. No, no, it's not, it's not. Close it. Nice, we have clearance. And a little bit too much clearance there, but what do you think to twist it like? Rust, exactly. It's already touching there. There, they look nice, bro. We just cut this a little bit too much. Yeah, this we gotta cut more. Yeah. A little bit more. Yeah, but now I don't know if to do what you were saying, just to chop off all of this. But then I don't know. Mm. Damn, bro. That right there. Then it was pretty good. For, no, for like a first, we'll a yeah. For a first timer, I think it was good, bro. Open the hood to see. Yeah, it opens and closes. Good. It was just that little section there that we that we cut too much. Good, oh, well, it is what it is. But there you have it, guys. The outlet for the turbo and the wastegate—they are already done. It's just a matter of screwing back in the AM O2 sensor. And we have our front tubular bumper here still drying. We're gonna let it sit for a whole day. But you can see the color, I mean the camera doesn't do any justice. Sorry for the noise of the fan. I have the fan there so it can drive faster. But yeah, that's what we have. Once we have that, we can put our radiator back in and we can put our bumper back in and we can put our and we can put our inner cooler also back in so we can start doing our charge pipes so yeah guys that'll be everything for this video thank you so much for watching thank you for the new subscribers subscribe if you like the content like the video leave a comment down there and we will see you in the next one guys